Um, good afternoon, everyone. It's my honor to have this opportunity for this presentation. Hmm. Uh, I will inform you about main contributions of our work. Uh, I will concentrate on the following points, motivations, framework, experiments, and conclusion. Due to the rapid development of information technology, there is a dramatic growth in the number of the data, such as internet data, viral data, voice data, and so on. For example, in viral data, each image can be represented by different viral descriptors, such as SIFT, HOG, uh, LBPGs, and so on. Each type of features capture the specific information to characterize the rich content of image from different perspectives, and they are usually high-dimensional. It's crucial to integrate these heterogeneous features to create more accurate and, and robust clustering results. So, some recent work proposed, uh, proposed some multi-view spectral clustering methods. Unfortunately, there still exist some problems regarding heavy computational complexity and the curse of dimensionality. So, how to efficiently use multi-view information for clustering is our main motivation. In order to solve about problems, we propose a novel unsupervised framework. It can achieve three benefits. Firstly, maintaining independence on different discriminative subspaces. Secondly, keeping consistency of clustering results of multiple views. Thirdly, adaptively controlling intercoordinations between different views. Solving our framework directly is difficult because it's an unsupervised complex matter. To simultaneously obtain WG and alpha, we transform this framework into a tractable one. We decompose this tractable framework into three sub-problems and uh, solve them by an alternating optimization. In step one, we solve G through the weighted multi-view k-means clustering. In step two, we update WK for each wheel by the weighted trace ratio of the A. In step three, we update alpha k of each wheel by using only one parameter gamma. Then we repeat this precise iteratively until the objective function value becomes converged. Next, we evaluate the performance of our method on three benchmark databases in terms of two standard clustering metrics, ACC and NMI. It's clear that our framework outperforms all other methods. In addition, we show the variation trend of parameter gamma under the convergence analysis. To sum up, our work accomplished two aspects. For one thing, we simultaneously obtain clustering results, uh, multiple discriminative subspaces and their corresponding weights. For another thing, we provide mathematic proof to support our theory analysis. Well, this is our work. Thank you once again. <laughs>